to define who you are today? She's got some good questions. Uh, I define myself uh, and myself, my, I change. You know, who I was last year was a different person. Um, and becoming a wife and, and inheriting three more kids in a blended family has 100% changed me. Um, and I just, I think that the way I define myself is how I feel about myself. Um, and so when I'm recognizing that I'm thinking bad things about myself or being critical or um, discouraged, then I, I get back to who I know I really am and as a child of God, who he believes I am. Um, and that, that gets me back on track. When there is an unexpected challenge that happens, either personally or professionally, how do you cope, how do you change, or how do you manifest what it is to align yourself, as you said, I walked in and I, w I just left everything and I walked in. How do you shift that? Well, some pain needs to be processed. Some pain needs to be released. Mm. And um, when I'm in a bad place, number one, I, I used to be so critical of myself for being in a bad place. Like, oh, now, now you're this, and now you're feeling bad about yourself, and now you're sleeping in, or you know, now whatever it was, I used to be so critical of myself. But now I think I've become an observer of that, like the space I'm in at that moment. So if I'm if I'm feeling sad, I put words to it. Like, what what am I feeling right now? I'm feeling discouraged, I'm feeling overwhelmed, I'm feeling um, angry or disrespectful. Oh my God, that's the exercise I give to my clients. Really? I am what? I right. am. And I recognize that it's going to pass. How many of you have a to-do list? How many of you are women? <laughs> <laughs> what do you wake up to? I wake up to, um, I have a planner that I use. Okay. Um, so there's my uh, my husband, and then there's my boyfriend, my planner, and I wow. I live and breathe this planner. And every um, year, it's called the Law of Attraction Planner. Okay. Um, and I'm a huge vision board person. I spend a ton of time just uh, envisioning things, conversations even, um, how I want them to go, and how I, under ideal circumstances they would go. But I wake up to my planner, mm -hmm. and I think about which parts of my day I want to spend doing what, and who I want to reconnect with or connect with, and, and how I want to feel at the end of the day. If you had a nugget, um, a, a gem, information, or a message for our audience, what would that message be as a woman who's gone through it? You see. I believe a lot of people get stuck in the story of heritage, uh, this is my family, or I have the same DNA, or I, you know, everybody become, a lot of people, not everybody, blaming the past, or blaming parents, or all that. How do you shift it? And what's the message that you would give to our audience, especially women? to realize where we are is not where we are going. Um, the, as somebody who's done a lot of interviews um, and watched a lot of stories, and I, I really believe in connecting with other women and other stories and seeking that. I mean, all of you women must believe in it too, because you're here. And, and when I feel like um, just disconnected from things, I believe that our, our whole purpose of being here is to connect. How is it being on Oprah's show, and now you're not doing it because you're so busy, but what does what did that do for Denisha's business and career? Um, it definitely, I, I ended up doing a, a sh television show on Fox as a real estate expert. Um, so it definitely did a great thing for my career, but the most important thing that I think doing that show taught me is that my vision board really freaking works because wow. I put me and an own network logo on my vision board 
And I did absolutely nothing except tweet, post on facial, uh, social media networks, and just talk about my story and talk about the things that I love that were associated with Oprah. And one day, they called me and they said, we'd like you to audition to be a host. I am a real estate broker. I don't have an agent. I don't do these things. Why is somebody calling me to audition as a host? You asked for it. I, I had put it out there and put it up on the board and I let it go. And then I was like, oh gosh, this is crazy. So not getting it, but look, you know, at least I got the, uh, the call, which is amazing. And then I went and there were hundreds of people auditioning as the, the host. And for some reason they picked the girl who could read the, the thing the worst. <laughs> um, but I think it was, it was, um, that was something that in my mind, whenever I'm thinking about my vision board and thinking of something that's maybe too big or how would I achieve that, I remember that. And that, that is really what I took from that. And then of course, all of the, the nuggets that I got from the Super Soul Sunday guests and the Oprah experts who are all geniuses and, and walking amazing people that I got to sit down with and, and learn from. So that, that to me was the best part, even though there was some business stuff, but the best part was what I learned in that way. I know before you came here, you sent me a message last night. Her grandma is uh, not doing well. So I want to thank you, no matter what is happening in your personal life, that you curved this time to be here with us. And as a woman, I grace you, thank you for the lineage that you come from, from grandmother, from mom, to you, to your daughter. And with that, would you please complete this sentence? Denisha is. Evolving. Yeah.